Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another episode of Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and today we're going to do the last video in the series of videos covering Batman Gotham City Chronicles. In this video, I'm going to take you guys through what I call a basic play. I'm going to take you through the first scenario, and I'll play the first scenario. I'm going to play the first couple rounds, then we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off and play a round or two. Then I'll come back and play another round in front of the camera, and then finally I'll probably take, play another round off camera and do the final round on camera and then give you guys a little bit of talk about how the game went maybe some things that i did wrong or things that could have been different uh if it was a close game how things you know turned out and all that kind of stuff so this will give you guys a really good idea of how the game plays i'll do my best to cover and, and make sure that all the rules are as, as good as they are i'm still working with a draft set of rules so some of these things are subject to change and keep in mind that that everything you're going to see today is prototype quality so uh, a lot of this stuff is going to change as things go through you might see different things on the kickstarter that's than what i'm using uh, because all this stuff is just prototype stuff and for those of you that have played conan uh, the, the previous game that Monolith Games put out, you know the quality that you're getting. Uh, everything is really well done and polished when it finally comes through. So, uh, like I said, this is just prototype stuff to give you a good idea of how the game plays and how it's going to run. So, let's go ahead and head to the table, and I'll show you guys what this is all about. So, let's just jump right into it. So, at the start of each round, the first thing you're going to do is move the time token one space forward on the time track, and then we're going to head into the hero's turn. So the first part of the hero's turn is to decide what stance your hero is going to be in, which you have too. You have an active stance or a resting stance. So during the active stances for our heroes, that'll let them move around and interact with different things, perform attacks, and try to deactivate the, some of these C4s. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and have Batman be his active stance, so he gets two gems for that. The Catwoman will also be active and receive two. And let's just go ahead and have all three of them be active. So then our Red Hood will also get two crystals. From here, then we're ready to start the hero's turn. And unlike most games where you would choose one hero and activate all the hero or activate heroes in a clockwise manner, in this game, you get to activate your heroes however you want, and then you can bounce around from hero to hero as you do different things. So you can have Batman attack first and then have Red Hood followed up with another attack and then move over to Catwoman to do something and then go back to Red Hood and finish up with Batman. And it's totally up to you guys however you want to do this. So let's go ahead and start. Let's go ahead and have Batman move on over and start getting at these guys. So we're going to do his free moves first. He gets two. So there's one, two spaces for his free moves. And then he definitely wants to get into that space with those guys. So he's going to want to spend one more crystal to move in there. That will give him his, enough to get in there. And then he's going to perform an attack. So his he gets one red for each crystal he spends. He can spend up to a maximum of three crystals. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and spend all three. Let's go ahead and spend three crystals to perform an attack. So he's going to get three red dice. All right, so not too bad. He got three hits total. Plus, he gets one for his martial arts abilities. And he could choose to spend one crystal to re-roll if he wanted to. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's max it out. And he rolled six hits total, plus his one additional success for seven. And we targeted the Chain Brute, as he's got the best defense. Normally, you nominate that beforehand. So the Chain Brute would take seven points of damage. He has two innate armor, so it gives him two points of armor. And then it would go over to our villain player to decide whether or not he wants to spend any of his crystals to allow him defensive rolls. For each crystal he spends, he would receive one orange die. So at this point, the he's looking at five wounds still, so he is not going to choose to, to spend any crystals. So our thief or our uh, thug is going to get knocked out. And since this was a successful attack with Batman's skill, he gets to perform another attack right away on another character in that space. With this attack, he's going to get to roll one dice of whatever he whatever his melee is. So he's going to get to roll one red dice 
onto our green guy, which has an armor of one, so he's going to need at least two hits to do... He got two, so our uh, villain player again gets to choose. He is going to spend a crystal this time and try to save his villain, and he does. He gets one success, and the villain has one armor, so the villain is not going to lose that particular model just yet. So Batman has three crystals remaining. He cannot perform any more attacks. So he could move out of that space if he wanted to or do anything else. But we're going to go ahead and hold off there. So we're going to go ahead and bounce over to Catwoman now. She's going to get her free move. So she's going to move two. And then she is going to try to attack our shotgun villain up there. Or our shotgun brute. He has two innate armor. So she's going to have to spend some crystals here. She gets one yellow per crystal she spends and she also receives one additional crystal or one additional yellow dice for her cat claws so let's go ahead and spend three crystals that'll get her three yellow dice and she gets one additional for free or one additional with her for her uh, cat claws so she'll get four she gets to re-roll the ones that she spent crystals on so she can re-roll up to three of her dice she got two hits she's going to go ahead and re-roll that uh couple of those from the other one she got two doubles so she's got six successful hits on him he can block two of them so he's still got four coming his way so the villain player is not going to spend any to try to revive him or save him from here then let's have red hood do something so red hood is going to go ahead since he this is an entire space he's going to go ahead and just try to shoot that guy now he's got a magnum which is going to get him one red dice. And he's going to go ahead and spend two crystals to get two additional. Actually, let's go a little bit lighter. We'll just go with two red dice. He gets to reroll one of them for his magnum ability. He got four successful hits. And our thug with a crowbar has an armor of one. So he has three wounds coming to him the villain player again can choose and he is not going to spend crystals to try to help him out so the villain player is going to lose his crowbar guy and let's go ahead and go back to catwoman now so she is going to she has no ranged abilities so she's going to go ahead and move into this space for one And then let's go ahead and do a couple of attacks. So our guy with an Uzi has one armor. So let's go ahead and spend our last two dice to try to, or two, we have two more gems we can spend on attack. So let's go ahead and spend those two, plus we get the one for the claw to try to attack the guy with the Uzi. So she rolled nothing on that, but she does get to reroll two of those dice. She gets one hit, so she's not going to have enough, but she's going to go ahead and spend the last crystal to reroll one of those yellow dice. She gets one additional hit. So he definitely does not want to lose that guy just yet, so he's going to spend one to roll for armor. He rolls a blank, so he's going to spend another to reroll that. One more to reroll again. And he got the save. So our Uzi guy is not going to go down yet. Catwoman is out of crystals at this point, so she can't do anything else. So we still have Red Hood and Batman with some crystals. So let's see. Let's have Red Hood. He's going to go ahead and move a couple of spaces. He gets his two points of movement from the start of the turn. So he's going to go one, two. And he's going to spend two more to move up here to uh, pick up the, his machine gun or his minigun that'll come in handy later now with the minigun it does it is very heavy so he is not going to get any more free movement after this and it is going to slow him down on some of his abilities and skills as well so he's gonna he's gonna have a lot of hitting power but he's not going to be able to be very mobile and he's going to lose a lot of his abilities so we're going to be careful how we use him now so he's going to go ahead and stop there, 
And I think we're done with Batman 2. I'm going to save some cubes for defense. So any of the cubes that are out on our player boards now are going to move to the fatigued section. We're ready to move into the villain's turn. So during the villain's turn, the villain is going to get to activate characters on his river by spending crystals based on where they are within the river. So if he wants to activate the crowbar guys, he's going to have to spend four crystals. From there, then at the beginning of his turn, he is going to move all the crystals down. And then he gets to move five over to his ready side. So first off, he's going to go ahead and spend one crystal to activate his thugs with Uzis. So it's going to be the yellow guys. So let's go ahead and start here. He's going to go ahead and try to activate that. And so the thugs, their manipulation is an orange and a white. And they need a minimum of three to activate the C4. So our first guy down here rolls two. He's going to go ahead and spend one of his cubes to re-roll that orange, try to get that going. And he successfully does that, so we'll arm this one. And then we have our guy in here. He's going to do the same thing. So let's go ahead and roll again. No luck at all. Um, he's not going to try to re-roll that. And we have our guy up here. Let's go ahead and do it in there. Now, he's going to require four because he's got a hero in there with him. So she's ham hampering him a little bit. He rolls two, so he's going to re-roll one dice. No luck. Let's try it one more time. No luck still. So he is not going to spend that last cube for the re-roll because... He's going to want to save a little bit of that. And then we have our final guy up there. Let's go ahead and try it up there with him. He got three, so he is good there. So we'll flip this over. So the villains have gotten two C4s activated so far. Vill uh, the heroes have got a little bit of work cut out for them. So that was our first selection on our track. So then the villain player can activate one more guy if he wants to. So let's go ahead and have the shotgun guys activate. So we're going to go ahead and move over. So these guys are pretty nasty with the shotguns, obviously. So the first guy, and with the villain player now, he can choose to move his guys first and then perform an action or perform an action and then move them. So let's go ahead and have our brute down here activate. He gets three points of movement, so he's going to go ahead and move here. And then he's going to go ahead and try to shoot Batman. So he gets one black dice. And since he's in the same space as Batman, he can re-roll that black dice. He rolls one hit. And he's going to go ahead and re-roll that. No, and he got a black. So he's going to go ahead and spend his last crystal on this space because you have a maximum limit now of how many you can spend. So he can only spend up to four crystals. So this is it. Oh, nothing. Batman was able to get out of the way. So then we have our guy over here. He's going to move two as well and try to take care of Batman. So he gets his black. Nothing gets the re-roll. It's cracked, so we get to re-roll. Four successful hits, so Batman is going to take some damage here, possibly. He gets a orange right off the bat for his armor, plus he can spend cubes to get additional oranges, so... He's going to go ahead and spend two cubes to get two additional oranges. So I'll give him three. He got two successes. So he's going to take two hits unless he spends one to re-roll uh, one of his oranges. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll spend one to re-roll. And he didn't get it, so he's going to take two damage. So he'll move two crystals to his wounded side. And we have one more thug up top there. He's going to go ahead and move. One, two, three. And shoot into that space against Catwoman. So he is going to roll that black without a reroll now because he's not in the same space as her. And it comes up with nothing. So he misses her completely. So that is our villain. He has activated two of his uh, thugs. And so it is going to go back to the hero's turn. So at this point, we're going to move the track up one more again. And then the heroes will go. So the heroes are going to choose their stances again. So Red Hood will go ahead and be active again. So he'll get two crystals moved over. So that'll give him six to go to start with. 
Batman. Batman is going to go ahead and rest. So that way that he will get six. So he'll be able to do some more next turn. And Catwoman. Catwoman's got a bunch of guys in her space. So she is going to go ahead and activate again. So she'll get two crystals. So she's only got two to work with. And let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and go with Red Hood first. And he's going to go ahead and use his Gatling. So first he is going to... First, he is going to move one space. So he's going to go up here. And that way he can see down to our two uh, shotgun thugs. And then he's going to go ahead and attack. So he's going to spend... He'll spend one red dice, or one red crystal, to roll a red dice. Plus he gets two additional reds now with the minigun. And he gets to reroll two of those dice with the minigun's ability. So... He's going to get to re-roll two dice, and he's going to go ahead and attack. Wow, he rolled six hits total. I don't think I'm really going to re-roll anything. So the first thug has two armor, so it's going to stop two of those hits. And our villain player can spend uh, some crystals to get some defense, so he's going to go ahead and do that. He's going to spend one to roll a orange. He stopped two, so two... More are going to get through, and that will drop this guy. That leaves one remaining, because each guy only has one hit point. So one would get through to our second one, because the uh, minigun's skill lets it transfer any damage that isn't completely taken care of by the first guy to the second guy. So this guy has one damage coming to him, but he does have that innate armor, so he is okay. So then, let's go ahead and have him shoot it again. He'll shoot... At that second guy there. This time not as good. He rolls three hits total, but he does get to reroll. So let's go ahead and reroll that blank. Gets three more hits, so he's back up to six hits. Our uh, villain player isn't going to spend any cubes or crystals to get any additional armor. So our second guy will go down. And Red Hood ha has one more crystal he could spend on another attack. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll spend uh, our last or one more crystal on, on an attack. And let's go ahead and target. Let's go ahead and target this guy with the chains up here. Try to drop him. So we've got four successful hits. And let's go ahead and reroll one of those that has the, uh, the single hits. See if we can get some more. So no, we still come up with one success. So we have a total of four hits. And our villain player is going to go ahead and try. He's going to roll one defensive dice as the uh, the guy with the chains has two points of an eight armor. He rolls one on there so he can stop one point. So one's still going to get through and it is going to drop that guy. At this point, I think we're done with Red Hood as well. I don't think we really want to do anything else with him. And let's go ahead and go with Catwoman. So she's she's still stuck in that space with all those guys. So she's going to go ahead. We're going to spend one of her cubes to perform an attack. So she's going to get two yellow. One of those she can reroll. She's going to go after one of the, the hounds. Let's try to drop one of those guys. She gets two damage on there. She can choose to re-roll one, but she's not going to. I think she's going to stay with that. So our villain player is going to spend his last crystal to try to stop that damage. He rolls a two, so he successfully does that. So that dog won't take any damage. And she's going to spend her last crystal to attack again. So she's going to go ahead and target that dog again. She gets one success. She does get to re-roll one. No, nothing on that. But that is all she needed. The hounds only have one health and no defense and our villain is out of crystals so he can't spend any to do anything else so that is it for the cat woman she can't do anything else either she is out of crystals so that is our hero's turn so then we're going to go to the villain's turn he gets to move all of his cubes down and then he gets to move five over so he's not going to have quite as much to work with this time he'll spend two of those to activate the thug with crowbars
And let's go ahead and move one here, one, two, and he's going to try to attack Catwoman. So he gets two yellows that have reroll capabilities. Both misses, so he'll roll those over. One successful hit and one miss. He's not going to spend anything to reroll anything. So Catwoman can go. She doesn't have any crystals, so she is going to take a wound. And our second guy here, he's going to do the same thing. One, two, three. What's the room capacity? One, two. So each of our rooms has a capacity now. And so six models is the capacity for this room. All right, so he's going to roll his two yellow. Three hits. That's pretty good. He's going to stay with that. So Catwoman's going to take three more crystals over to her wounded side. So she's taking some pretty good hits there. And then we have one more guy that's going to activate. So he's going to come on over here to Batman and try to get something on him. Nothing. He gets the rerolls. And we got a blank. There's We got one successful hit. Batman does get a straight up armor save of an orange unless he wants to spend additional dice so he's just going to take that and he does stop it with one success so batman doesn't take any damage and that is all of the green uh thugs so again our villain player has a choice he can activate another model if he wants to or another uh, tile he is going to save those crystals and not activate anything else uh, as he used up a lot of his crystals last time to do rerolls and stuff, he, he's going to want to try to save some of those. So then we're going to head back over to the heroes. So I'm going to go ahead and take a couple turns off camera, and then we'll come back and take a look at this game as we've progressed a little bit. So at the beginning of the turn again, like I said, we're going to move up the time counter. So we're on turn number four now. Some of our heroes, as you guys can see, are starting to get kind of piled in. Catwoman's totally getting hammered over here, as you guys would have figured. She's got seven wounds already. So she is going to start out the turn by resting. So she'll receive three wounds back to her ready state. And two of those wound tokens will be moved over to her fatigue state. So our heroes in this game don't actually die, but um, you can hold them up pretty good. Batman is going to go active again, so he'll have four crystals to work with. He had two from before, and he's adding two again. And Red Hood also had two from before, and he is going to go active again. Uh, and so he will start the turn with four. So let's see what uh, Red Hood can do here. He's going to go ahead and roll his dice. So he's going to do one red for the attack, which will get him three red total. One for that and two for the minigun. Let's go ahead and see if we can take care of some of these dogs. So we got six hits overall, and I think that's pretty good. I don't think I really want to re-roll anything, so uh, we're going to go ahead and start with this dog here. So our villain player can choose to spend a crystal for defense. He is not, so that dog is going to go down. Then with the minigun's ability, uh, it gets to choose another target in that space, which we have five hits remaining. That target's going to go down because the villain player doesn't want to protect him. So we have four hits remaining, and he can target the last guy. And again, the villain player is not going to spend any crystals to try to save that hound, so that will be it. So Red Hood was able to drop all three of those guys. And let's go ahead and activate Batman next now. He's trying to work on this C4 over here, so let's go ahead and spend three crystals to try to do that. So he gets three orange dice. Hopefully we can get five out of this. He gets six successes, so he does uh, take care of the C4, so that one is removed. And then he's going to get his free movement, so he's going to go two spaces there. He's got one crystal remaining, so he's just going to hold off with that. He's going to save that crystal. And Catwoman doesn't have anything because she is at a resting state right now. So we can still do stuff with Red Hood if we want to. So let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and remove Red Hood. So he's going to spend two crystals to move. One, two. And he's going to stop there. So at this point, I don't think I'm going to do anything else with the heroes. So we're ready to move into the villain's turn. So at the beginning of the villain's turn, he moves all of his crystals. And then he'll receive five. 
So he's got a little bit more to work with now. So he, we're going to get into the point where we can start activating some from our cool guys. So let's go ahead and first off, let's go ahead and do our event. So with the events, it allows us to bring four points of villains back or our, some of our enemies back. Let's go do uh, two of our brutes with shotguns. We're going to put one up here and let's go ahead and put one over here. From there, then we also get to do the special ability. So Bane gets to receive some Venom. And that'll put him up into his Venom Bane form. So he can do some pretty hefty attacks with this form. All right, so then our second activation. I don't know if I'm ready to activate Bane just yet. I might save him one more turn. So let's go ahead and spend two more crystals to activate our Thugs with Uzis. So our first one over here is going to go ahead and let's go ahead and move up and fire on Red Hood. So he gets two white dice and he gets to re-roll them. All right, so he's going to re-roll the one here. No such luck. Our villain player doesn't really want to roll that second one, so he's going to go ahead and hit Red Hood for two. Red Hood does receive one yellow for free. Um, yeah, he's going to go ahead and spend his crystal for defense, so he'll receive a yellow and an orange. Let's go ahead and give these a roll. He saves one. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and activate our guy up there. He is going to move one. His movement is two spaces. So let's go ahead and have him come over here. And everything is obscured because of the subway, so he can't target any of our heroes at the moment. So then our last guy up here is going to go ahead and try to activate that C4. So he gets a orange and a white. Only rolled two, and our guy's not going to spend any rerolls to reroll that, so we're going to hold off there. And so that is our villain's turn, so we're ready to head into uh, our next hero turn. So again, we're going to move the counter up. I'm going to go ahead and take this last turn off camera, and then we'll come back for the final turn. All right, so moving into turn six, our heroes are going to go ahead and start it off again. So we're going to go ahead and have... We're going to go ahead and have Catwoman be active. So she is going to get two, so she'll have four cubes to work with. Batman... Batman took quite a hammering from Bane over there, so he is going to rest this turn. Save everything up for his final go. And we're going to go ahead and have Red Hood activate as well. So let's go ahead and start off. Let's go ahead and activate Red Hood. We're going to go ahead and do a shot onto our Brute with the Shotgun. So we get three. We get to reroll up to two. I'm pretty satisfied with that. That's going to be six hits on him. He has two armor for four remaining, and our villain player is not going to spend any points to re or to add any defense. And Red Hood is going to go ahead and target our next guy there. Again, three dice. Six hits again. Red Hood is on fire with that thing, and... He's going to go down. Our guy isn't going to spend any dice to try to save him either. So then Red Hood is going to move. He'll move one space. And let's go ahead and move one more. So he'll be in there. So that's it for Red Hood. Catwoman is going to... She's going to go ahead and try to attack the hound in there. So that'll get her two yellow dice. She does get to reroll one of those dice. She gets three successful hits. So our villain would have to spend two crystals to try to save him if he wants. So he is not. So that is the last dog. So the dog tiles flipped over to the KO side. She's going to go ahead and attack again. She's going to spend two to go after the thug with an Uzi. She gets one successful hit. She does get to reroll one. Does not help her. 
she is not going to spend that, so she'll spend another cube to try to attack again. Same guy. She gets to reroll one. She gets one hit. Isn't going to make enough to get through, though. So she's going to hold off there, which is going to leave her with one crystal. And that will end our hero turn as Batman has decided to rest. So then we're going to head into the villain phase. So our guy will get five crystals back. There's three, four, five. All right, so then our villain player is going to activate the Brute with Shotgun. So he's going to move one space, two spaces, three spaces. He's going to spend one cube to move in with Batman and, and, and Venom. And then he's going to go ahead and shoot. So he'll get his black dice. Four successful hits. Doesn't even need the re-roll. So Batman is going to spend two cubes to try to defend against that. So that'll give him three orange. He rolls two successes. So he's going to take two damage. So we got one more we can activate. Let's go ahead and continue pounding. So we're going to go ahead and activate our Thug with Chains. So he's going to go ahead and try to hit Catwoman again. So he gets two whites and a yellow. Move that over. One success, or two hits. So he's going to go ahead and spend two cubes to reroll the two misses. He's really going to try to hit her hard. No additional successes, so he's going to hold off there. And Catwoman is not going to spend... Yeah, she's going to go ahead and spend her last one to get an orange. She stops the two hits. Alright, so that is our second activation. So we're ready to move into the final hero turn. So our heroes have to deactivate at least one of these C4s in order to pull off a victory here. It's really, really tight right now. So let's go ahead and activate with, uh, or have Red Hood be active. So that'll give him two. So that gives him three crystals. He's going to have a heck of a time trying to deactivate that. We have Batman, who is also going to be active with two, with two more crystals. So that'll give him four. And finally, Catwoman is also going to try to be active, and she'll get two crystals. So... Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try with Red Hood first, as this is a really tight one here. So he's going to spend all three on his thing. He only gets yellow dice, so he needs six successes to deactivate this. Only managed two, and he does not have any rerolls, so he was unsuccessful. And Batman here is going to have to move out of that space. So he's got two enemies in there, so it's going to require him to spend his free move and a crystal to move out of there. And then he's going to spend all three crystals to try to deactivate that bomb. He gets three orange, and let's see what happens here. He needs five successes. Oh, he got four! So close! All right, so that is the game. The villain player was able to hold out. Uh, definitely a big mistake here was to bring Catwoman in here. She just got overwhelmed the entire game. Uh, so, because there's no way she's going to be able to, it, there's no point in trying to deactivate this right now because it has not been armed. And if the villain players have two armed C4 at the end of the game, they're going to win. So there's not much else she can do because she's just completely hammered in there. So that was probably our, my biggest mistake was having her go in there. Other than that, the uh, hero players were able to slowly work their way around here. We might have, should have moved around a little bit more, uh, tried to get over there and help Catwoman a little bit, maybe. And so that is the game. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you have any questions uh, or different things, I also have a couple other videos up uh, for Batman if you guys are interested in finding out more about it. And as always, thank you guys for taking the time to watch these videos and leave me feedback on them. If you enjoy these videos, if you like what I do, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. You can also swing by my Twitter and Facebook accounts and leave me comments there. Let me know what you guys are playing or how, what uh, games you'd be interested in me covering or teaching. And until next time, I will see you guys later.